you have a city ordinance that uh, prohibits us from using uh, herbicides and fungicides, so we were very interested in talking to Jeremy, so he introduced the EM to us, and at the time we had a, a, a fusarium breakout, which was pretty severe. And so Jeremy came down and we were doing a compost tea, so we added, we put a heavy dose of EM, which I believe at the time was uh, 140 ounces of EM to uh, 100 gallons of tea. And we went out on all of our greens with that. And it seemed to uh, suppress the fungus. And we had good results within a matter of a few days. We, we noticed the fungus basically stop.
designed to. Oh, man. From around the world to the Hawaiian Islands comes innovative technologies designed to improve quality of life. The use of microorganisms is an environmentally sound concept which can help make our world a better place for all. The term effective microorganisms, often called EM, refers to various types of beneficial microorganisms that coexist in liquid culture. Effective microorganisms, also known as EM, was developed at the University of the Ryukyus, Okinawa, Japan, in the early 1980s by a distinguished professor of horticulture, Dr. Teruo Higa. The successful application of EM, effective microorganisms, is being experienced by San Francisco's Municipal Golf Courses and Parks Department. The City of San Francisco has passed an ordinance which prohibits the use of harmful herbicides and fungicides. With the assistance of Jeremy Murdoch, who serves as an EMRO USA certified EM provider, effective microorganism mixtures are being successfully used as part of the Golf Course's Integrated Pest Management Program or IPM, and has helped control fungus outbreaks. In conjunction with compost tea applications, EM has also enhanced the golf greens and has substantially reduced maintenance costs by reducing the use of expensive chemical fungicides. As a result of its success, this pilot program has resulted in EM being used in other parks and for pond treatment. A San Francisco golf course superintendent shares his experience of using effective microorganisms. We have a city ordinance that uh, prohibits us from using uh, herbicides and fungicides, so we were very interested in talking to Jeremy, so he introduced the EM to us, and at the time we had a, a, a fusarium breakout, which was pretty severe. And so Jeremy came down and we were doing a compost tea, so we added, we put a heavy dose of EEM, which I believe at the time was uh, 140 ounces of EEM to uh, 100 gallons of tea. And we went out on all of our greens with that, and it seemed to uh, suppress the fungus. And we had good results within a matter of a few days, we, we noticed the fungus basically stop. Compost tea is very important. We've been doing that for two years. And the EM almost as long. And the fusarium was our main problem, microdocium. We have controlled uh, microdocium with, I believe, the use of the EM compost tea. That's teas. great. So it's more of a spot treat. So now area. we go out with it as just one of our general mm -hmm. applications with the tea. Wow. So it seems to just always have some out there at a small percentage mm -hmm. where uh, we believe is controlling our uh, fungus problem. So prior to using the EM, you would have that outbreak regularly. Right, and we just either have to weather it out. Uh, years, a few years ago, they used to use fungicides, but now we don't use any of that. So we haven't used any fungicides for three years on our greens. That's great. So you, yeah. brew, you brew up the tea, and then you add the EM just prior to application. Correct. To the tea. Yes. Just as we're going out, we add the EM. Which, in our compost tea, we use uh, compost and worm castings. You were doing some spot spraying beyond that regular program. Right, the, if we um, notice any spots, when the greenskeeper reports any spots of uh, fungus starting, sometimes we'll just go out with a backpack and spray her with a, uh, three ounces of the EM and, 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 and uh, we'll just spot spray and it seems to control. How long have you been at this golf course? I've been here three years. So basically the whole T project and the EM project came in with, with me just about the same time I came here. So it's a turn phase around. Okay. And you've been 
working on the golf courses for? I've been on golf courses for about 12 years. 12 years. I know our greens are in better condition now mm -hmm. than they have been. And the reason why I know that is because most of the golfers tell me that. That's, that's, that's the the green quality mm -hmm. is definitely better. But we're definitely, we're also on an organic fertilizing yeah. program too. So yeah, that's great. Basically, I'd say down here we're probably 85, 90% organic. And very seldom do we ever use anything uh, not organic, and it, and it works. Right, so, so primarily it's uh, greens and teas? Basically for us it's just greens. Green. That's what our compost tea and our EM goes on. And uh, you have to have patience to just kind of stick with it a little bit. I mean, it's, it's tough for some people, especially uh, superintendents that are uh, maybe uh, in charge of country clubs where they have members looking over their shoulder every minute. But you just got to stick with it and uh, and it works because uh, we're not using anything. Most other golf courses, they, they put down fungicides and uh, just for preventatives. And uh, so uh, I, I feel real good about that. We're not putting anything in the environment. Yeah. So there's obviously cost savings too, potential cost savings, I would think. Well, there's yeah, tremendous cost savings. Uh, spend a lot of money on chemicals. Yeah. And EM when uh, we uh, that's relatively cheap for the amount that you put in. We're probably moving into a, a time of year where we're going to see maybe a little bit more fungus. Usually in spring we get a little, and definitely in fall mm -hmm. is probably our major time, in September, October. So, okay. but we've had the consistent. So far, it's been consistent with us suppressing the fungus and since we were basically kind of a trial area here mm -hmm. for our whole EM, uh, sure. IPM uh, coordinator he we started it here he kind of checked it out for quite a while now he's using it in quite a few other applications right here the Golden Gate State Park mm -hmm. I believe and the Bowling Greens and right and, and some of the ponds too pond treatments we've been doing uh, so you could say you're the leader well, I'd say, and uh, with the city of San Francisco, I, we are definitely. And uh, actually, it's I just received an environmental award this year from the Department of Environment, and EM definitely had some uh, contribution for that. That's great. So it's uh, it's not. I'm not going to go on and say that this is the cure-all for everything, yeah. but we have had good results with it and we're really happy with it. So, uh, well, congratulations on that award. <laughs> <laughs>